G'day my friends, Marty Way from the Marty's Garden Show. Now I've got a bit of an experiment for you. You worm farmers, you love your experiments, right? Well, I'm making plant nursery worm farms. You want to check them out? Watch the video to find out more. Subscribe to watch more videos about compost worms, organic gardening and growing the best, freshest food at home. And remember to click that bell button in the subscribe area so you don't miss any of my videos. So this is how it all evolved, right? Look at this sea of red garnet amaranth microgreens. Aren't they just absolutely stunning? Now, how this started was, was I used to run a micro farm up in Byron Bay, selling lots of food to the restaurants, and I created my own compost, and then I would run the worms through it, and I'd grow amazing food. I really, really would. And I always sold out of all my microgreens. Now, how this evolved was, I was always finding worms in the bottom of these trays and then through the compost. And as I was sprouting these and cutting them and taking them to the restaurants and to the different people that would order them, I would then throw this back into the spent stuff, into the worm farms again and they'd chew through it. And then I'd be using it back through and it's just a continual loop. So they're always in here. And I found that they were actually quite healthy and they got in the bottom of the trays as well. So this is the type of tray that I'm using. This is like a hydroponic bottom tray. And the top tray here is one of those nursery trays that they put their seedlings in that you buy. You find at all the different nursery retailers' places. And I just fill it full of compost. And then I was, like I said, as you saw, I was growing the microgreens. But I'm going to actually put my own compost into this. And then I'm going to put worms in it. Turn them into little mini worm farms. Pretty awesome, I reckon. Yep, it's time to fill up these trays with some coffee, sawdust, compost. The worms love it, but I've never used it in trays before like this. A bit of mushroom compost for the extra moisture. Hmm, and I think I'll go and get a bit of cow too. They love a bit of cow manure. Did you know that the cow manure adds an extra beneficial microbe to the system? So I'm here to collect the free range compost worms. They've got into my pile, well, my tumbler here, and then moved into this trough down below. So I put the trough in there once I found they were in the tumbler. They just got in here on their own. Now, I used to grow microgreens in trays like this when I had the micro farm going. And I used to use this method, and this is how I figured out how to make this compost to grow the best microgreens possible. Now I'm going back to this method, I want to trial it again and just see how well they go. Because before it was all about microgreens, but this time it's about worms, right? So my goal is to find and count 250 compost worms and place them into these small new worm farms so I can breed them up and just see how they go in here. Oh, and look at this beauty. It doesn't look far off laying an egg, to tell you the truth. Very mature. It doesn't look like it's going to take very long to find my 250 worms needed. So I've got my, my worm farm here, my tray worm farm. And you can see I've made a bit of a mound here. Now there's 250 worms because I definitely counted them. But let's let's just have a look. Yeah, cool. So they've all started going down deep, which is really good. That's what we want. I'm going to spread this compost around. Now this this compost on top is out of that trough that you saw above the tumbler. I'm going to put this down here. I've been soaking some water. Soaking some water. Soaking some newspaper, right? In chlorine free water. I'm just going to put it over the top to keep this nice and moist. Fold that in like that and I've just used the whole newspaper. And I reckon they'll be pretty happy under that. So we'll just wait a couple of days and see how they go. 
I won't worry about feeding them too quickly because there's plenty of cow manure and there's a little bit of coffee and stuff in there. So in a little while, maybe a week or so, or maybe a bit less, I'll start feeding them up. So I've used one of these bottom trays to put as a lid over the top. Now, I probably don't need the lid. My concern is that these guys like to travel a lot, so I'm still a bit worried about that. But as the weather cools down and they come out, they don't like it, or if it's a little bit dry around the side, they mightn't come out also. But red wigglers are known to travel and migrate. So they even escape out of these three worm farms as they're getting a bit old and the seals aren't that great. But I originally started off with 1,000 worms bought at the local shop. And then about three months later after that, so about six, seven months ago, I bought 10,000 worms and released them into worm farms, out into rows and out into compost and things like that. So I'm slowly getting my numbers back. But these trays are going to be different because what I want to do is start learning more about the worms and start harvesting eggs and start working on age of worms and things like that because I'm really serious about worms. I just love them and I really think that they're going to be the future for organic gardening around the planet. So in reality, that type of tray is probably a bit small, but I've got to use what I've got because I can't go out spending money all the time and buying all this stuff. So that'll do for now and it'll help me get started because I've got a few other trays as well. And I want to get a tray possibly around twice the size of that. Uh, good aeration, can catch the water flow down below so I don't get any problems with that funky gear going on. And also be able to keep an eye on the worms because I'm interested in the cocoon numbers, I'm interested in worm sizes, I'm interested in ages, and moving them into separate bins so I can start farming them properly and really get a good understanding. I've been learning heaps from all you guys out on YouTube, for set, so thank you very much for sharing the videos. We can always keep learning each and every day, can't we, even no matter how much knowledge we have. It's always great to get a bit more. Thank you all the new subscribers, all the old guys that are hanging in there and watching the show. I appreciate and love each and every one of you. If you've got any comments below or you'd like to add some value and let me know what you think or maybe you've got some ideas about some different size trays that will fit on the shelves like this one, then I'd really love to hear from you. Have a great day. Happy gardening. Make sure you watch one of these extra videos and subscribe if you haven't already in the middle button here and I'll see you at the next video real soon. I've got hundreds of videos on my channel. Bye for now.